Hey, thanks for coming back to video three. I'm out on the back deck here in Hawaii at the house and uh, I just wanted to go through and talk a little bit about walking around your retirement every day. Now remember, if you have not seen video one or video two, you need to go back and do them and uh, I think you'll get a good, good, uh, good information there that'll lead you now to video three. Uh, which is this video. I'm not going to cut the video, I'm just going to do it one on one. I don't have the, I'm not set up in a big uh, room where everybody's videotaping or whatever. I just wanted to have some one on, time, one on one time with you and hopefully you and I together can come up with uh, a way for you to find the money that you need to do the deals. I know that's one of the hardest things, I really do. And um, I'm hoping that maybe I can be one of the guys that helps you see how to do that. I want to give you some things. You want to get a pen and paper and write a couple of things down. Just a couple of statements. And they, these statements, by the way, I think will change your life. I really do. And um, I'm hoping that you'll write them down and learn some of them and then use them uh, in the things that you have, uh, have to do. Um, remember, go back and see video one and two if you haven't. Also, uh, I've got something kind of special at the end I'm going to share with you. This is supposed to be video three. Kind of. Possibly might be a little bit more to come. So uh, if you want to go to the end, I'd appreciate that and tell you a little bit about it. All right, you got your pen and paper? The first thing I want to walk, want you to write down is you walk around your retirement every day. Let me say it again. You walk around your retirement every single day. I'm hoping that you'll learn that to wherever you go. Um, I travel a lot on an airplane. It doesn't matter if you're on an airplane or where you're, you know, if you're traveling, uh, uh, driving on the road or eating at a restaurant. Everywhere you go, there's people that can change your future and you change their future right away all across America. And so you walk around your retirement every day. What you've got to do is you've got to somehow attract them. Let's talk about attraction. We have attraction going on all the time. Uh, if you watch on TV, you're watching, they'll have a Doritos commercial, has this beautiful girl. Doritos have nothing to do with beautiful girls, but they're attracting you to Doritos. Uh, they'll have soda, they'll have Mountain Dew things, they'll have all kinds of fun activities going on, and then you got to do the do. They'll do anything to pull you in uh, because they are attracting you to their product. You have, as an investor, a product, and that might be at home, that might be a commercial building, whatever it is, that is attractive. You've got to show how attractive that really is. And you've got to get somebody looking at you that's not. So first, you walk around your retirement. Two, you must attract them. Well, how do we attract them? Isn't it funny that ladies sometimes will go and put on makeup, guys will clean up the car, they'll dress up, they'll fix things up they wouldn't normally do, they'll vacuum out the floor and throw away all the trash. Why? They're trying to attract the person who's going out with them on a date. Your job is to try to attack, attract the investor. You want the investor to be attracted to your deal and what you have to offer. And to do that, it's got to be attractive. So one, you're going to have to find one of the deals we talked about in video one and video two. You're going to have to find them and say, uh, I have got some that is very attractive and now I've got to show it. So number three, one, you, um, without question, walk around your retirement. Number two, you must attract those that have that. Number three, have a plan for attraction. You ever seen a girl get dressed for a date? I love that song, Waiting on a Woman. I don't know if you've ever heard it, but uh, he goes, as I waited for her, she didn't come down for a long, long time. And when she came down, man, it was worth it. And she tried on every single outfit <coughs> that she had trying to find the right one. I think that's because that's the law of attraction. She was trying to attract him as a date. Your job is to find whatever it is that makes your deal attractive and shows it out to them, and you've got to work on it. So, um, and my, my dad used to say, every old battleship needs a little paint. Um, I think you've got to work on it and make sure that you know, one, exactly what's going on with the deal, how the deal works, where you're going to spend the money, what, what's the money for, what are you going to do with it. Your job is to make sure that when someone asks that question, you're prepped and ready to answer everything about that deal. How you're going to pay it out, how long is it going to take to sell it, what is the market like, how many days on market are houses in that area, what kind of rent are you getting square footage for buildings in that area. All the things that are going to have to do with your deal, you need to wrap them up and have them prepared in a nice, perfect ball so when someone says, let me see your deal, you can bring out something that's shiny and ready and, 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 and desirous. Why? I call it the pretty girl in the room syndrome. If you have a pretty girl in a room, you a bunch of guys in a room, every guy will know where that pretty girl is because it's the law of attraction. That law of attraction is if I see something I want, I want to pay attention to it, I want to look at it. And so guys and uh, ladies, sorry, that's the way God made us, we are attracted to uh, the opposite sex that's pretty. 
Uh, so the pretty girl in the room. So I say your deal must become the pretty girl in the room. Now, how do you show that off? Because obviously your deal's not going to walk in, your hotel's not going to walk in, your house is not going to walk in, your building's not going to walk in. How do you do that? When Tiffany and I are out to dinner sometimes and I see somebody with three or $500 shoes on, maybe a twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 watch, some things, sometimes we'll talk about our deals and share them. See, you'll do it with a ball game. You'll do it with a ball team. You'll do it with a pitcher. You'll do it with a football player. You'll do it with a soccer player or a hockey player. Why won't you do it with a deal that changes your life financially? You'll talk about all those items, but you seem to be a little leery when it comes to talking about money or bringing up the deal. Don't be that way. Let that be the number one thing you like to do to try to go and get the money is make your deal pretty. Explain it and then share it. Um, I think it's important that if a guy gets a girlfriend or a mom and dad have a baby, the number one thing that's always asked is, do you have a picture? Exactly. Why? And that's what people are looking for. If you start talking about a deal, they're going to turn to you and say, hey, I like that deal. I was in Quincy, Illinois a few years back. I was staying at the Hampton Inn. I was helping an older couple that was looking at a place in Colorado. I went on my computer and I showed them how to look that place up and what to do and how to make it work and all the things. And while we're in this breakfast uh, room where you get your breakfast staying overnight at these hotels, um, <coughs> apologize, <coughs> are staying overnight at this hotel, that morning we're eating breakfast, this lady walks up and she goes, um, sir, I don't know if I've ever met anybody that's talked about or knows much about a real estate as I heard you talk in the last 20, 30 minutes of helping this couple. My father passed away and lost, left me some money, and I'd like to invest it. And I like your integrity. I like the honesty. I like your helpfulness. You had no reason to help these folks. And so if you wouldn't mind talking, if you're going to be around, here's my phone number. I'd love to talk to you. She handed me her business card. I keep it in my briefcase to this day. And on the back of that business card was written to uh, a dollar sign. 250k $250,000 and she wanted to know about and is one of our investors now and wanted to know about how she invests with me why because she saw the deal so one I was in a place I wasn't looking for her and she wasn't looking for me it was the law of attraction she saw something that she wanted to put together with herself that would make it better in her life for her just like a guy sees a pretty girl a girl sees a handsome guy oh my goodness they're just perfect for us that's what you're looking for, that, that connection that comes because your deal is pretty. Number one, your retirement walks around you know, every day. Number two, you must have your, your deal and know it's a good deal and ready to go. Number three, you must learn how to present that deal and have it out there looking good, all dressed up. And number four, you must communicate that deal. That's all I did. I communicated the deal and someone else, even though I may not have been talking about an exact deal that I was working on, I was telling those people about different deals because there was several people in the room and that happened. Same thing happened in Las Vegas, Nevada a few years back. Actually, it was in Henderson and I was at a uh, Homewood Suites in Henderson. The same thing happened. And the guy came up and him and his buddies invested about maybe three quarters of a million dollars with us over a period of time. So it is important um, that you share that deal and you talk about that deal. Number four, or maybe five, I've forgotten how long we've gone now. It is important that you get everything as far as information on that deal. Let me say it again. It's important that you get everything on information. If somebody comes to you and says, why are you doing assisted living? You ought to be able to say 10,000 people every day hitting 65. You ought to be able to say, in some states like Florida, we're going to, Florida is going to surpass New York in population, and the huge part of the population that's moving to Florida is 65 and older. You need to know what counties or what you're working in and what your deal is and how many people are there and how many beds are in other facilities and how much those facilities are paying. Or maybe if you're doing a house, you need to know on a house what house is selling well like we talked about before. Why is that house selling? How can you buy this house cheaper? What makes it better for you? How can you turn this house over? You need to have all the little in intricate pieces of your deal settled. Let me show you why. A girl sees a guy and says, hey, how you doing? He's doing great. He says, what do you do? He says, I'm a doctor. She says, wow, you're a doctor, that's wonderful. What kind of doctor are you? Uh, I'm the kind of doctor that operates on people. She says, well, um, you, you mean a surgeon? Yes, 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 a surgeon. So you take uh, that little tool like a knife thing and you uh, kind of have to cut into people sometimes. What's that called? Um, the little knife knife thing, the blade, the, the, um, the knife? Scalpel. Oh, yes, yes, scalpel. Yes, oh, I take the scalpel. It, it didn't long until that person finds out. You ain't no doctor. You don't know anything about being a doctor. When you talk to people about your deal and what you have, and when you put it out there as the pretty girl in the room, and you put it out there as the 
perfect, intricate tool, you need to be able to have the answers for your deal. And let me give you one more. I think this is number six. If you don't know the answer, tell them, I don't know the answer, but I'll go get it. You know what the problem with America is today? People aren't honest. Just be honest. Just be real. I don't know the answer, but I'll tell you what, before I go any further, I'll look at that deal. And matter of fact, anytime I'm doing any deal with anybody, if they have a question, if I don't know the answer, I'll tell them straight up, I don't know the answer, but I'll go find it because I believe in honesty and straightforwardness and I can make it happen. Now, you may lose an investor at that second, but you may gain one the next time you're talking about a deal or you bring something else to them because they'll say, you know, we talked last time. Did you go and find out about it? Yes, I did. Let me tell you. Here's what happens. Uh, they have a certain amount of taxes. Maybe ask something about the taxes on the houses or in the property. And you can answer those questions because you went there and you found out what the answer was. It is very important to be honest. But if you don't know, say, I don't know. When you mislead somebody or someone catches you, you're in trouble. You know the way I catch my boys? As they start to talk, I catch them in the funniest ways. We had a young man a while back, one of my favorite stories to tell. And we had a beach down here, not too far, just over this mountain back here. And it's called Tracks. Now, what happened was, years ago, the train tracks used to go through there and uh, for the sugar cane but then they of course no longer run it been years since it's been used but you can still see the tracks so the actual beach is called by all the locals tracks it has a hawaiian name but that's not our hawaiian that's what we call it everybody if you say i'm going to tracks that's it so we have this one boy we know he never served he's howling he's got bright red hair and freckles all over his face we're talking about going serving and we said well have you ever served at tracks oh yeah oh yeah i love tracks it's a great beach i said that's the one you know where the concrete truck was going down in the water to pour out the concrete but it started to topple so it dumped out the concrete real fast and when it drove up all the concrete went over into the two dips of where the tires was and it made concrete tracks going down into the ocean he goes yep yep i've been there many times walked right down them tracks now i caught him uh, as my dad used to say i caught you with your pants down um not paying attention to what you're doing and lying about something and we caught that boy in a lie but he didn't have a clue what tracks was don't don't be that person if you don't know say I don't know. Learn to be honest. As investors are looking for people who are fair and real and honest. Listen, where you go tomorrow, you may not know that that deal that you want to do, there's a person sitting in the crowd that will be attracted to that deal. You know why they're attracted to it? Because there's a lot of people who have money that don't know what to do with their money. And there's a lot of people who know what to do with real estate. It might be you and you might be wanting to learn more about it. And, and that could be you, the person that they want to turn to and go, wow, I want you to be involved in what I'm doing and what's going on. Listen, I want to give you opportunity to maybe work with us a little bit if you're interested. I'm going to give one more video that tells a little bit about our company and what we do. You say, I don't have the money or I can't find these people or I'm not, I'm not trained well enough or solid enough. It just seems like every time you go somewhere, somebody's got something to offer, and then they got something else to offer, and then they got something else to offer, and you got to pay more and more and more. Ours is not like that. We have a one-time fee. We set up. We get people working with us. Um, we have uh, online training. We have weekly stuff. Let, let me tell you a little bit about it. Go to the fourth video. It'll be a short video, so it won't take you long. Go to the fourth video and learn what we do. Become a part of us, and maybe I'll be one of the ones that funds your deal. You bring the deal to me and make it all look pretty and sexy and beautiful, and I'll be the one that might pick it up. Uh, I'll also go through it though. I'm going to ask you questions that'll shock you. I'm going to make you look up things and find answers. That's what we do. But we try to find deals and fun deals for people to try to make a difference in their life. And I want to make a difference in your life today if you'll give me that chance to do so. I hope you realize you're walking around your retirement every day. Find that deal that's great. Learn all you can about that deal. Put that deal out there, talk to others, and give it to other people and show it to them. Make it look as clean and straight and, and intricate as you can. Find out all the information. If you don't know something, tell them, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find out what that is, and I'm going to make that happen. I want to thank you for being here. How to find the money? Look at the person next to you. Look at the person in the, in, in the restaurant. Look at the person walking in the bank. Look at the person sitting across the aisle. Look at the person that's riding beside you on the airplane. You never know who's sitting beside you because your retirement walks around you every day. This is Gary with The Deal Funders and The Deal Funders blog.com. Uh, come find out what we're all about. Go, go down below. It gives you a little thing you can click on, finds out what we do, how we do it. There's all kinds of information in the email where you found this video and the first two videos. Go see them. Come back and see me just for about five or seven minutes on the second video. See if I can't try to help you change your life. Listen, if I change your life, I change my life. It's beautiful in Hawaii. By the way, the jets are coming through today. They are uh, Harrier Jets are all playing out here today. Come on down and uh, uh, go online, see what's going on, pay attention to the things that we have to offer and see if they're not for you. If they are, let's work together and see if we can't build some future for you and me both to make a little bit of money. 
I am. Uh, I, I'm hoping that you got something from these you could you could learn uh, that you could use um, from the first video of just you know finding a deal, knowing what a deal is, knowing where to find the deal, and then knowing how to find the money. Going out and find the money to find the deal. Let me help you more, and, and as time goes on, we're a one-on-one -on -one company. Tiffany and I are the owners. We're personal. Uh, we're trying to make a difference in people's lives. We've got a lot of good people working with us, a lot of good people that are on our team with us. We'd love to have you. So go, go down below. It gives you more information about what's happening. Go see video for it. And thank you very much for your time today. This is Gary with the Deal Funders, and don't forget, we want to fund your deal. Thank you very much.